Hi everyone, so this is a video on how to make an LED glow stick. This is the final product. It looks like this. It's really easy to make and it's very bright and it's very good for giving light shows. These are all the parts that you need to make it. I'm going to provide links um, to where you can get this stuff in the description of this video, so check that out. You're going to want three 10 millimeter LED bulbs an A23 battery holder, a dead chemical glow stick, you can do it either with the cylindrical or the hex case, doesn't matter. You're going to want some insulated wire. I use this kind that kind of holds its shape. You're also going to need some tools for this. You need a soldering iron with solder. And then you need a couple different kinds of knives. and scissors as well. Okay, so I'm going to prep this glow stick. So first I'm going to bite off this handle. Okay, and then I'm going to line up the battery holder with the top of the stick and basically draw myself a little guard where the bottom of the battery is. I'm going to take a sharp knife I'm going to cut into these and glow stick juice is going to spray everywhere but that's okay and it doesn't matter if it's sloppy and I'm going to get this guy too okay I'm going to take this serrated knife and I'm going to dig in here, get both of them, and cut this off. I'm sorry, I'm just going to pour this out into my sink. Cut this one off. Okay. And then do the same thing for the other side. Okay, now I'm going to prep this battery holder. And basically I'm going to cut all this stuff off the side. So we can slide the battery in nice and easy. So I'm just pressing down and it slices right through because there's already a seam there. And then you can bend it out. Yeah. Something like that. To be absolutely honest with you, no matter bite it off. Okay, so we're done with that. Now I'm gonna cut some of the excess plastic from around this contact just to make it fit a little bit better. And this one can definitely be a bitch. Okay, this case is good to go. Okay, so now I'm going to do some refining on this opening so that this can fit inside. And just so I can show you my cutting technique, I'm cutting strips just straight through this. And I get to the edge where it needs to stop. I flip the orientation of my knife and just cut it down. Okay. 
Also, it's important that you cut away all the material that's up close to this end up here. Get as close as you can to the top. Save as much space as possible. And do it to both sides. And I'm going really fast because I want to make this tutorial short. So this might be sloppy, but I think it's going to work. Okay. And I'm going to give myself a little bit of extra room at the bottom. So I'm cutting off some material like that, give myself some extra room there. I, I even flare the slits a little bit at the bottom to make it easier to put those pieces in. Okay, and you know you've done it right when you can take this thing and I shove it in bottom first. I know I'm not showing this right, I'm sorry. Okay, so the bottom's in. And then I'm going to squeeze the top in. It's okay, it's going to bend a little bit, everything's going to bend. But it's, it's in there. And you can kind of force it to straighten out to get an idea what it's going to be like. But that's fine. Okay, so I'm just going to do a little demo on soldering really quick. So I have this wire, and the two pieces of the wire are laid over each other. Basically the idea of soldering is that you're going to take heat, and you're going to apply it to the intersection that you're trying to solder, and kind of just let those wires get hot. And then when they get hot, I'm going to start to put my solder against the tip of the soldering iron, and the solder is going to liquefy and flow onto that joint and it's going to harden on that joint and when it does it might look something like this can't see that at all and it doesn't come apart when I pull on it um, so I hope that helps you understand soldering. I'm going to be doing more soldering as I go along, and I'm going to throw some tips in as I do, so bear with me, please. Okay, so if you ordered the battery holder I told you to, it's going to have these little tabs on it. So basically, I just pried that up. And I'm going to stick my wire through that little hole. like so and then I'm going to lay it down it's going to hold it in there for me which I really like about this battery holder and then I'm going to get in here and this is a really easy one to solder because you can just apply the heat to the big tab and that's enough to get the area heated so I'm going to do that then like I said I'm going to touch the solder to the tip of the soldering iron it's going to start to flow I'm just going to push forward, adding more solder. Excuse me. Okay. And I've never claimed to be the best solder in the world. But now that is firmly attached to the tab. And it's really important when you're soldering on these cases that you try and do it as possible. And I know I just provide a good example of that, but it's really important because you can melt it so much that this contact will just fall out of the plastic because all the plastic's melted. Um, but that time I was well within the limit, so I was okay. And then since this is the top of our glow stick, we're going to route this wire down the back of it. And I'm going to grab my electrical tape and cut off a length of it, a very small length of it, and tape this down across the back so that it doesn't go anywhere. Um, so just like that. And I'm also going to push this tab back down tab back down. 
Okay. Okay, so I'm about to solder this first bulb. And if you order the bulbs that I told you, and that's top bright 10 millimeter 1 watt LEDs. They have two cap contacts on them, fat and short one. Um, they have these prongs on them, but I just cut those off with scissors. And so I made myself a little battery holder piece of tape. I'm gonna drape this on top of the bat on top of the bulb. And I'm gonna lay it down and kind of use the tape to keep the contacts upright so I can solder on them. And then take this wire. and lay it on top of the anode, which is the fat contact. And then I'm going to heat up the contact with the tip of my soldering iron. And I'm going to come in with a solder on top, melt it on the tip to make the weld. And sometimes I spread a little bit of the solder on the tip before I go in so I'm already working with a little something something you know what I'm saying and then while I already have it taped to save some time I like to go in and just do the other end another piece of wire here That's a good joint. 